Right guys, we're on here on bout number 14 of the evening. Ross We've got uh, Yeah, so up next we've got Ross Leggett from uh, Charles Martin Martial Arts versus Tom Gittins and making his way to the ring with a very intense walkout music is Ross Leggett, whose brother Jeff fought earlier in the evening. Not seen Ross fight before. No. <laughs> this is a new experience for me. But maybe the victory of his brother earlier, you know. Yeah, spear him, on might a little spear bit. him on. They look they do look similar. They do <laughs> they look very they similar. Look very similar. Another tall fella, quite lean. Should imagine he'll have a good jab on him. Yeah, boxing bout this. Um, 75 kilo. 75 kilograms. Very intense walkout song there from Ross. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Tom Gitty. Another day, another fight now from Niai, is yeah. it? Niai Jim, Nii no Nii banner Jim. this time though. Where's the banner? Harsh. <laughs> yeah, a little bit harsh. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good entry. Yeah, music excellent stage. one. I've not heard this for a while. Another one bites the dust. Some, been some very strong performances from the Nii Jim. Very, very strong this performances evening. tonight. One second, we've got promoter Ria and head coach from AFK Farad. Yeah, Farad, how are we doing today? We're doing great. Apparently the show's going really well, but I haven't actually seen much of it because I'm too busy running up and down. Well, I've got to say, far, we've had some amazing fights tonight, excellent knockouts. I mean, if some of these don't go viral, I don't know what will. Uh, what you got to say about the fights tonight? I think they've been really well matched. I mean, there's been a few that just got stopped when you didn't expect to, like Uzi. Uzi's only 17 years old, and I was surprised he stopped that guy. That guy's an ex-army boxer. Yeah, no, we were saying that. I mean, we saw him first, such a young talent. Very raw, um, and obviously brought him on. Excellent, excellent uh, fight that, you know. Like we say, very good. Um, right then, well, we'll get on with this fight forward. We'll see you soon. Here we are then, guys. We've got uh, Tom Gittins from Niai against uh, Ross Leggett from CMMA. See how this one goes. Ross is very tall. It's always Tom, I think, as well, yeah. you know. Ross has still got the... Very uh, stocky as well. Yeah. Ross has definitely got the height and reach. Mm. I think, uh, obviously, Tom uh, Tom looking to uh, to work the levels here, yeah. bring him down to his size. And we are uh, live on Facebook. Welcome, everyone. Sherlock Productions. I'm Simon O'Kane. This is Conor Halliday. And uh, this is a 75-kilogram boxing bout between Ross Leggett in the yellow and black shorts and Tom Gittins from the eye gym in the red shorts. Had some strong performances from the eye tonight and a very strong performance from uh, Ross's brother Jeff, who won by TKO earlier. Yeah, that was an excellent fight. Let's hope that some of that rubs off on his brother. Yeah, both of them looking, uh, you know, looking to find their shots here. No rushing. I've got to say, Tom's showing them more movement at the moment. He's definitely working those levels. Yeah, working a, big, uh, a nice big body shot there. I think Ross knows he's got that reach advantage. He's using it on that jab, yeah. you know, to drive straight down the middle. I mean, he's taking a few body shots. You can see the remarks. Yeah. But, well, um, well, the problem with being that tall is if he, if, he, if he keeps himself up straight when he throws, he's going to get clipped because his chin stays up. Some good head movement, though. Tom's corner. Urging him on. Urging him to set up some punches. I'm hoping we're going to see a few combos. You both look a little tentative to start, but yeah, I mean the first round you feel like your opponent. Um, yeah. Seeing up, mean you go for it. Both front crosses at the same time there. I mean, both of them are controlling the center here. Oh, big right hand. Good, there excellent, top. excellent. I think he caught him there slightly. You know, he felt it just a little bit. Jab up to the head, then. Oh, right good uppercuts the there. Excellent Good. movement from Tom. Oh, big body shot on the end from Tom. Ross getting closed down now. Ah, and that's in the round one. Close, very close. Very really time. good technical round as well. Yeah, some good work from both boys. I mean, you've got one fighter here. You've got Tom who's working the different levels. And then you've got, you know, like, uh, obviously, Ross here. Quite a, quite a tall fella. 
working his uppercuts, working that jab, you know, getting inside. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's working, both are working. However, I would have to say I'd probably give that to Tom. Probably have to give that to Tom a little bit. And we've... Um, Just edged it. Yeah, definitely um, could be close, could go either way. But I think uh, Ross needs to keep Tom on the outside now. You know, keep picking him off with his jab. Absolutely. Throw Maybe throw right a few more of those top. uppercuts. I mean, I saw him throw a couple in there and they were, they were effective. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe set him up with that, that long arm of the jab, and then as Tom's coming down for that body shot, you know, release an uppercut, hope one lands. Here we go, ready for uh, round number two. Referee Craig Walsh gets us underway. Oh, nice left hook over the top there from Tom. Big Tom right working hand. the levels again. I'll say Ross has got a fast jab. Yeah. He's doing it. Ross is doing a good job not to shrink his size, if you know what I mean. I do, yeah. Going down to Tom's level, he's, he's making himself nice and tall. Obviously harder for, uh, for Tom to get his head that way. Yeah. Stepping in with that double jab every time, yeah. but he's not really I kinda, uh, to the top. I kind of feel like uh, Tom's, you know, he's telegraphing that overhand a little bit. You can yeah. see it. You can see it come over almost like a matrix punch. He's having to dip nice and low just to distract Ross so he can get that right hand over. Yeah, yeah, oh, that yeah. one landed. And he's following it up. Let's say Ross doesn't seem that phased by it. No. Tom's corner screaming for him to uh, move forward now. Yeah, looks like Ross is putting the pressure on here. Now the lad looking tired yet. We're about halfway through the second round. I think if, if one of them wants to steal it, they need to... Put, need to just, yeah, up yeah. the tempo a little bit, start landing more than a few more combinations. You need to show the judges that they're actually putting more output in the round. I mean, at the moment, obviously, uh, Tom's throwing more punches here. Um, are they effective? I haven't seen Ross, Ross wobble yet. Yeah, none of them have really got hurt yet. I don't think anyone's no. landed a significant strike, but... Ah, there you go, that's a nice that's body better. shot. Oh, but Ross is answering it. Yeah, with Tom oh, being beautiful. Good head movement. With Tom being the smaller fighter, he has to start with the body, doesn't he? He to does. Get, to get over for the head. So. Nice. nice Good jab double jab. Good. Oh, excellent second yeah, another, round. Another close second round there. I think, um, like usual, they've got to come out all guns blazing for this third round and show the judges, you know, I'm winning this fight. I will take this fight. So... Need to land some significant strikes in this round. Yep. Yeah. I'd like to see, like I say, just a few more combinations from uh, from Ross here. I mean, if I was his corner right, oh, that's what I'd be telling him. Yes, you know, definitely. Start digging in more, landing more combinations. Um, obviously, I mean, every time Tom's come out, it's been it's been going low, been going low, throwing that. So you know, counter on it. If he's if he's there, uh, land those uppercuts. Um, he seems to be dipping down to down to his uh, right hand side every time. So land the cross over the top. All to play for in this last round. Referee Craig Walsh gets us underway. Right, here we go, guys. Oh, excellent double jabs there. I think it's going to be all for nothing in this one. It's got to be really if you want to steal the round and steal the fight. Tom's being very tentative. I don't think he wants to get caught by that right. No. I don't think Ross has unleashed it properly yet. No, I don't think he has either. I think. Oh, he caught him well yeah, there. That was a good shot. Caught him well off the jab. Like I said, throughout the first two, I don't think there's been many significant strikes. So this is the round they're going to have to land it. I mean, they're obviously both digging in harder. Yeah. Tom coming straight back. The size difference in the reach doesn't help, especially not on Tom's part. If following us oh, on Facebook, guys, switch this is over the third for round. Left. Third and final round. Oh, nice. Ross just trying to get them combos working. They're going to have to go for broke now. Tom's using left. some good angles here, I've got to say. Oh, beautiful. Good. Excellent return from Ross. 
We've got to say both fighters here giving it their all. Excellent. Um, this is where Tom needs to close the distance. Oh, big one. That's where Tom needs to close the distance now. Oh, the oh, big left combination. That's where he's working. He's throwing the jab up, the right hand to the body, so the hands come down, and then his left hand's swinging over the top to the head. Good work from Tom. Nice jab there from Ross. Nice and short. So Ross is a really nice long jab there. He's using it well. Oh, here we go with Tom, Tom with a combination of rowing. He's got to keep going. Can't stop. Can't, can't, can't hug in this part. You need to. You need to, you need to keep oh, going. Oh, oh, oh. And that's it. Time. Craig, in the referee, you want to be trying to start <laughs> a fight with. Yeah, fantastic three rounds of boxing there from both lads. Excellent work. Could really go either way. I think there's probably one point in in the whole fight, maybe. Excellent fight. Well, let's see what the uh, decision is. Yeah, it could, it, it could definitely be a draw in my eyes. Because no, no one really stole either round. So. No, I don't think they do. I mean, you know, as far as effective goes, I mean, it depends how the judges are going to score it. Yeah. If they're going to score it on the amount of shots being thrown, you've got to give it to Tom. Yeah. You know, um, effectiveness, I'd give it to both of them. I mean, yeah. they both unleashed combos. They're both countering and they, uh, you know, both damaged each other equally as much. So it's a tough one to call. And we'll head over to our MC, Jonathan Millard, for the official decision. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. With the unanimous decision, your winner in the blue corner, Tom Gittin. And there we go. Tom Gittin from Niyai Boxing. Steals the decision. Great fight from both lads. I think they'll both learn a lot of experience from this. You know, Tom obviously went three hard rounds with a, a big, tall, lanky fighter. And obviously, Ross learning to fight against a shorter fighter. So, yeah. they both definitely have learned something from that. A lot to take away. Excellent fight. Great respect.